Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this picture on Facebook, and they actually said cutting holes in this thing and kind of confused me at first. Several ways to do this. Probably the easiest, uh, take a rectangle, go up and make your line thickness something, you know, pretty thick, like 100 points. Maybe that's thicker, but it's good enough. Go up to Object, convert the outline to an object, left click, right click, draw you another rectangle, you know, whatever thickness you want for these spots, you know, rotate it whatever degree you want, and then just place it. Hit the plus key on your keyboard. Of course, if you were doing it for real, you'd want them, you know, and these aren't even, you know, they're sporadically put around. So I'm not taking any time, but you could you could make them even. Now, what I always like to do is set my nudge factor to move the smart fill out of the way so you can get rid of your lines. So I'm gonna just fill this in and I'm nudging them over to the right. That way there's nothing ever in the background. Because <clears throat> a lot of times when you, if you would fill this in and take away the line, I'm going to right click no outline. The outlines are still there. You just can't see them. Because if we look in view and bar frame, the outlines are still there. It's just keeping you from seeing them. So a lot of times they might cause you problems. And, you know, even though you take them away, they're still kind of there where this, there's nothing there. And then to make it look like that, you would just turn them white, uh, get a blue background and color it like that if that's what they're wanting and order back a page. Anyway, I hope that answered their question. Thank you for watching.